Hey guys, this is my video response to SD4547 or Ballistic Barbecue's Outdoor Grilling Competition. And today I'm going to be making Honey Barbecue Chicken Pizza. And it's going to be really good, so uh, stay with me. And we're also going to be doing sides. And those sides consist of baked beans and grilled watermelon lathered with honey. So I'm a little bit new at this, but uh, I think it'll come out really well. So right now what we've got going is the charcoal is warming up and that'll be done in about 20 minutes I'd say. So um, I'm going to go get the chicken and start preparing it. I'm going to put olive oil on it, a little bit of honey and some black pepper and I'll bring it out and show you what we're going to do next. So. Right, so I'm about ready with the chicken, but I ac actually forgot a couple ingredients for the baked beans. They were right on my table, but I just spaced it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of honey and a little bit of Dijon mustard. Just to give it a little bit of a kick. And just, excuse me. like we're about it but I put about a teaspoon in that that's about all I need but so that's the baked beans now what I'm going to do is mix them around and put them off to the side and I'm gonna let them simmer down for about three hours or however long it takes the chicken to cook so now I'll put the chicken on and this is the chicken. It just looks it's a big guy. What I'm gonna do with the chicken is I already lathered it in olive oil, but what I'm gonna do to make it a honey barbecue chicken is I'm gonna lather honey on it. I'm a kid, I like honey. So I think that'll give it a nice sweet flavor after a little bit. To that. Just the baked beans. So now I'm going to add a little bit of fresh black ground pepper. Just to give it a little color, a little taste. So, it's the chicken right there. And also, one more thing. I'm putting a temperature gauge in it too, just so I can measure how hot it is and what my like uh, temperature is that I need to get it to. And I actually want to get it around 250 minimum. And I actually got this off your video, Greg. So it was the best way that I saw in order to make the barbecue chicken. All right, to make the barbecue sauce, we're gonna put about one cup of yellow mustard in a pan. Just about like that. And then we're gonna put about a half cup of sugar and one fourth cup of dark brown sugar. Just like that. And I mix them in just so I could save a container. And then next comes half cup of apple cider vinegar. In the original recipe calls for three quarters cup, but instead I'm using a fourth cup of rice vinegar because I think it gives it a little more tangy flavor. And I like that. And then next we give it a quarter cup of water. And then two tablespoons of chili powder. And this is what really makes it good. This is what I enjoy the most. Gives it a chili flavor. And next we put in some black pepper. You can give it as much as you want. I'm going to put in about two tablespoons. Just like that. Or two teaspoons, sorry. Uh, next we're putting in one-fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne. I put in a little bit more because I like spiciness. And that's what we'll give you. All right, so we're taking the lid off of the barbecue for the first time, and we're gonna see what the chicken looks like. Oof. 
cool. Well, I don't know if you guys can see the baked beans, but they look fantastic. I mean, they're just simmered down almost, and they just look great. I don't, I don't even know what to say. And the chicken, it's not quite done yet, but it's getting nice and golden brown and crispy, which is great. So we are going to paint on the barbecue sauce now. So that's how we're going to do it. We're gonna put a bunch on here. Okay, so the dough is doubled in size and we're about ready to punch it down and knead it a little bit more and then spread it out on the board and make a square pizza, kind of like an artesian. All right, the chicken and the baked beans are finished. Let's take this thing off and look at how it came out. All right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but the chicken looks amazing. Just completely golden brown. Just kind of hot, but just really, really nice. And nice color. Just crispy. Completely done. Ah, I'm excited. I'm hungry. And the baked beans are completely done now, too. All right. Everything is sauteed up now, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but oops, it looks great. The peppers and the onions have a slight golden brown to them, and they just look fantastic as topping-wise. And this is that sourdough bread that I made earlier, and looks great too, so I'm hungry, I'm ready to eat, so we'll be done in no time. All right, it's time to cook the... Uh, First side of the pizza, and this is what it looks out looks like, uh, all laid out. It's what that recipe of dough will make. So I'll put it on, and it'll cook really fast the one side. So probably five minutes, I'd say, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so now it's time to dress up the pizza, and notice I flipped it. So, we're putting the toppings on the side that was previously cooked, and then we'll cook the bottom side, which hasn't been cooked yet. So what we're going to do first, is take our homemade barbecue sauce and just put a bunch on there, just like that. Now we're going to take a spoon, put it around on there, just like you would a normal pizza with tomato sauce, but this is barbecue, we're doing a barbecue sauce. A little more. A little bit more. On the sides, anyways. Get it all around there. Alright, and I'd call that pretty good. So now what we're going to do is put the lid back on. Now we're going to put down our vegetables that we sautéed not too long ago. Just like that. And the bacon and the onions and the vegetables, they, they smell delicious. Um, I don't know if they're... Alright, so we got all the veggies on right there, so now we're going to take our chicken and just add a nice big layer of chicken. Just like that. I'm starving. I know I've said that a few times. This just looks really good. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, slight technical difficulties. My other camera died. I had to go get this one, and it doesn't have the best picture, but that's alright. Now we're going to add uh, a nice big layer of mozzarella cheese. Cheese makes the pizza, in my opinion. Uh, airplane. So. Alright. 
So after the mozzarella, we're gonna add a little cheddar. Not much, just to give it to give it a little color. So I'd say that's good on the mozzarella. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheddar. Just to give it that yellow pizza flavor. Flavor. Um, color, what I meant to say. Alright. Just like that. And now to make it an Idaho pizza. I'm just gonna add a nice top layer of barbecue. And that looks good. Alright, time to get this guy right on the grill. Hold on a minute. Alright, so I got him on the grill. And it just looks fantastic. It'll probably take about 10 minutes to cook since I don't have a ton of charcoal in there anymore. But it'll cook. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so this is the finished product. Just took the lid off. And it looks great. I don't know if the camera gives it justice, but uh, it looks fantastic. And um, I got the watermelon grill in. It's done also, so let's take this thing off and slice it up and see what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's nice and crispy and just perfectly done. It's going to be tasty. Alright, right, I'll finish slicing this up and uh, show you guys what the finished plate looks like. Alright guys, this is the finished plate. As you can see, this is the pizza and it's nice and crispy. The crust is done perfectly. It's uh, brown on bottom. It's really nice. And the baked beans are done. They look good. Uh, I got the sourdough bread that I made as a little side. And then we've got the grilled watermelon. And it doesn't look grilled, but... Watermelon is, as you probably know, made up mostly of water, but what it does is that when you grill it, it dehydrates a lot of the water, and it leaves more of a watermelony taste, and that's what I really enjoy. And then what I do is I put honey on it, just just a little bit, not a too much, uh, just to give it a little flavor. So let's go try the plate and see what it tastes like. camera up. Alright, let's try the pizza. The pizza is outstanding. Um, I don't know if you can get any better than this. Uh, the crust is just crunchy. Uh, the barbecue sauce, homemade barbecue sauce, the chicken, the peppers, onions, the homemade dough, it just blends really, really well together. And if you want to get pizza recipe, you got to give this a shot because it's delicious. Let's try the baked beans. Those are so good. I just want to keep eating. Uh, I'm starving. It's lunchtime. Um, they're delicious, just the bacon, the white beans. I don't even remember what I put in it, but it was good. Um, the sourdough bread, I've already had a couple pieces, and it turned out really well, really well. And let's give the uh, grilled honey watermelon a try. Mm. That is delicious. You have to try it, it's really easy. Grill the watermelon for 10 minutes, 5 minutes each side, and I don't think you can get any better than that. So, I'd just like to thank Greg of uh, Bust Barbecue for putting on the challenge. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I like watching your videos. Um, it inspired me to cook, which I really enjoy now. I bought my Weber, uh, Weber Weber, whatever you call it, um, a couple weeks ago, and I've been practicing on it for a couple weeks. And I'd also like to thank uh, Dave of Barbecue My Way. I've also watched your channel a bunch. I've learned a lot from you guys. So uh, thanks again for the video and hope to make more videos in the future. Thanks.